Ladies and ghouls, hello. It's going to be a very busy day today. I've got to go and I've got to take that core transmission down to get my money back. And i got to mow the yard so hopefully we can get some Halloween decor going on. Because time's running out and I apologize for not doing it. It's just I've been really busy and that's another reason why I didn't do the haunt this year. Is I've just I've got too much to do. But with that being said, um, somebody wants to say hi to you guys. This girl right here, she wants to say hi, say hi, Buffy, say hi, Buffy, say hi, say hi, say hi. It is also unseasonably warm today, and then with all the pine needles that are on the ground, it's extremely piney smelling, pine smelling. It's Today's already starting to be a weird day. I'm running behind because I slept in, kind of, because I didn't go to bed till like 5.30. Ugh. Stare him down. Stare him down. Good girl. I've never noticed it before. Have you guys ever been like stared down by a dog when you're like driving or sitting at a red light or something like that? I just think it's so funny. She just, she just sits there and like looks at the other person. Intimidation. It's all about intimidation. There you go, Puffy. Stare at him. Good girl. Stare at him. <laughs> I have dropped off the core transmission and we are on our way back to the house. And I checked to see if they had like seats for the Bronco. Okay, my Bronco is an 86 Bronco too. Parts for this thing are starting to become uh, kind of hard to come by for some things. And you guys probably didn't know it, but my seat back, it sits at an angle. So my whole back is like sitting like this. And I have lower back problems. It's probably due to the stupid seat in here. So I checked to see if they had seats. They do. But they also want $220 for a pair. Here is our uh, one of our local landfills. Oh, along with an advertisement for Spirit. Um, but yeah, so the, uh, it's sanitary landfill. I don't know how sanitary it is, but just think about it, guys. When you throw something away, away is a place. It goes somewhere. Recycle. We're at the German shop. No, they don't sell Germans here. They they sell German stuff like like um, uh, marzipan and stolen. And I want to see if they have any stolen because yesterday when we were at Oktoberfest, they had stolen and it was like nine dollars for like small little piece. And if I remember correctly, it's nine dollars for a big piece here, like a big half loaf of bread. And you will enjoy it. You will love. Hey. Don't kiss everybody. Not everybody likes kisses or paws. Not everybody likes paws. Why are you pawing people? That's not nice. That's rude. Be a nice dog. Be a nice Buffy. Noses. I might give you a piece. One small little piece. So I've got the stolen, guys. And that's how you pronounce it. Stolen. Which is really funny because if you were to go into the store and steal the stolen, will you have stolen? No, stolen the stolen. <laughs> I know, it smells good, doesn't it? And you want it. Look at this one. This one here is with cherry brandy and it's got cherries in it. Oh my goodness. And and, and marzipan in the center, which we say mar marzipan. And oh my gosh, cherries. Oh, God. It's so good I can almost start by eating the box. I won't, but I could. But I won't. You can eat the box. I'll give you the box. Do you want the box? Crickets. I'm attempting to have a really short vlog today simply because I would love, love to go to bed early tonight. So I hope you guys understand that. Um, however, the other night to kind of like uh, have closure and wrap things up, um, my truck, remember the uh, the tail lights and the marker lights went out on it. This right here is my headlight switch. This right here is a variable resistor, that spring thing that's supposed to go around the backside right here. So when you turn it left and right, uh, your dash lights get dimmer and brighter. Well, it broke off right there. And because it was still attached to that part right there, that little metal tab, it grounded out and blew the fuse. So 16 bucks for a new switch. I already had a fuse. Done deal. We're back on the road. Walk towards the light. Look at that freaking spider. Oh my goodness. The granddaddy of all that is spider. It may seem like a wasted trip, but I've got tombstones, and if you guys know anything about the tombstones, you never want them to rub together. So I'm trying to think of maybe like if I start saving bubble wrap, 
So at the end of each year, I just like wrap them in a single thing of bubble wrap. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I should store them, but doing what I'm doing is getting them real beat up. It is round two, and it's getting darker. And this is a lot more difficult to do with only one person. <laughs> yeah, guys, my tombstones, they're in such bad, bad condition, bad shape. I know it's hard to tell if you don't look at them. If you look at them close up, then you can see little pieces of blue foam sticking out in places where they've been dinged and man I'm not even going to bring the that's the one that Travis made the huge one I'm not going to bring that this year just because it's so heavy I've got one more piece of uh, board for the window and then I think I'll be done with this section over here yeah and I've been thinking about things lately too and it's like I really need to uh, I know some of you have mentioned I got to get down some of you have mentioned uh, using the panels for to make <clears throat> like a storage building in the backyard but we have so much moisture here all year long that the panels would still eventually get ruined um, oh, I didn't want to bring this out yet uh, so quite honestly what I need to do is I need to have somebody come build a 400 square foot storage shed in the backyard that way I can also use it as a haunt building um, but the money that I'm paying for two storage units, I could be paying for the building and it would increase the value of the house because there'd be storage, there'd be an outbuilding, um, and I'd eventually be paying for something instead of just having my money go for something that I don't own. That's my plan. On that second trip, I was able to get, uh, well, you guys just saw it. Anyway, so I got those for that. <laughs> I can't think of what to call things right now. All right, and I stopped at uh, Walgreens because I had to get a toothbrush to clean a car part, not for my teeth. Uh, and then, oh, she smells it now. She knows. Do you want it? Do you want it? How badly do you want it? How badly do you want it? Well, don't choke yourself. Come here. Get down. Get down, silly goose. Okay, I'll give it to you. Hold on. Jeez, I got to get out of the wrapping. Oh, and this one expires 8 of 2019, so it's still okay for you. Doesn't that look good, guys? Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. I see you. I see you. What? Are you going to speak? Are you going to speak? Do you want it? Are you going to speak? She's like, okay, I'm just going to take this and go over. Well, okay, I guess I'll go right there. Okay. I don't trust her on her own yet. She doesn't call to her or she doesn't come to her name yet. So she's still on the leash. I don't want to let her out of my sight. I don't want to have to hunt down a dog or have a lost dog. That would be bad. Oh my gosh, Daddy, that is so good. Thank you for getting this for me. I'm so happy. I have something to chew on now, so I'm not gonna chew on other things. And this is so tasty, it's so crunchy. It's just crunchy, it crunches like this. Like, listen. Well, I'm gonna lick it first, because, you know, I, I just crunched it, now I gotta lick. And since I tied up loose ends earlier in the vlog, I'd like to do this one also. Um, I went and got the, kind of the only, like, Halloween, not really Christmas ornament, and I guess this one here is like totally that other holiday. But anyway, so I, I got this. My uh, my nephews got this for me last year. Isn't that awesome? That is just so cool. Awesomeness. So another end tied up. Ladies and ghouls, it is time for COC, cock for short, or commenting on comments for long. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, 1805, day 1805, haunt fail and blood cleanup. Here we go, comment el numero uno, RV granny, on our way to Dairy Queen now. <laughs> well, tell me, did you enjoy it? Was the uh, pumpkin pie blizzard worth the drive? UK haunt, note the dog hair at 1304 on the spoon. You didn't wash it that well. I didn't taste the dog hair. I hate hair. I'm a texture freak. Well, not a freak, but I hate hair in my mouth. Don't care whose hair, don't care what hair, don't care the length of the hair. Hate hair in my mouth. Disgusting. Gross. Apparently, I didn't notice that one. <laughs> UK haunt. A musical vlog would be funny. Hope you do it. Yeah, I probably won't because I'd, I'd have to use other people's music. So the other one, Hush from the other day, was basically kind of like that because I just had the music going through the whole thing. Emerald Gypsy Heart, um, I'm making a huge pot of seafood gumbo. Mighty tasty, I will attempt to bring you some unless you're in our neck of the woods. Um, 
No, thank you. I don't like seafood. Ugh. Seafood to me is like pumpkin pie to you. Unless, unless it is uh, deep fried shrimp or uh, lobster or crab. I'll do crab too, but yeah, nothing else really. Jordan Winton, happy belated birthday. Red man N overalls or no overalls or no overalls. Red man no overalls? Um, I'm new here and well, welcome. And I just want to know how long have you been in the haunted house business? Uh, I don't know. I did my first haunt here in 2007, um, so that's, you can do the math there, but I've always loved Halloween. Uh, next vlog, next cock. Charlotte Helsing, The Vlogging Dead was well done, I enjoyed your reaction. Uh, thank you very much, I'm really upset about the audio for the first two minutes, I was shouting because I wasn't used to the old camera. Um, not that I need to shout with this one, it's just, it was far away, so yeah, the audio was all messed up on it. And then I talked over the TV, and that was bad, and I think what I want to do is, I think I want to have the reaction at the end, and I'm just going to do the Vlogging Dead. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I think I did a pretty good job as far as, uh, uh, you know, getting through everything and bringing up some valid points, so. Stephen Cobb, I'm glad that you liked it, I still find it funny you couldn't get the haunt names down. Well, they didn't have the haunt names right there at the haunt so yeah i didn't get the names down and of course uh guys uh, stephen cobb is the one that was on the audio from the second haunt which we take a look here and it's chamber of souls um from last night he was the one that uh, made everything happen yesterday how bizarre troy have you ever been to halloween horror nights no i have not the energized uh, yeah, she basically says thank you for staying up all night and getting all that stuff done that i got done last night um and hopefully have an early night tonight if you can, or you'll be like a walking zombie yourself for sure. Well, it's not an early night. I was hoping to get to bed earlier than this. It's 12.30 right now, so I'll be in bed about 1.30. Ramthal, guess I'm the odd man out. There's no way I'm going to wait in line an hour for anything. Um, <laughs> oh man, I got in line and it was all the way up the next hill. And then as I got down closer to the, the end... It, the the line that used to be back behind me was no longer there, which really up. That was the most upsetting part. That Barb girl. No, you bought a Christmas item before Halloween. Is that sacrilegious? Shh, you're not supposed to say anything. I was just supposed to sneak it in there. Shh. Florence Essler. Hey Troy, I've been catching up on your vlogs and I haven't been able to watch for a while. Just need to say that I'm sorry about what's going or what's been happening. My thoughts and love are with you. I absolutely love little Buffy. She's so gorgeous and give her a kiss from me. It's great that you'll get to see some haunts this year. I hope you'll be able to film inside some home haunts. Take care and happy haunting. Well, thank you very much. And I just went through that really quick because I wanted to read everything, but I, I wanted to make it short. So thank you. I appreciate that. Wow, Red Grin. I'm not going to read everything here, but he just went through and listed like all the stuff that's happening in Vegas that's haunt related. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, maybe next year we have to plan. Oh, I, I'm going to be here. I don't know. Next year, we, we might have to make a trip to Vegas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jolson, you drove right past where I am every Thursday. Are you at the Emerald Queen Casino? That's the only thing I can really think of. All right, guys. Happy hunting. Thank you for watching. I want to try and get out of here. And um, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. So as always, go down, down below right there to show more. And click on show more. And it's got all of our stuff down below. Make sure to thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, another reminder for next Monday... Uh, the I have to look at the calendar on the wall. That's why I always look up over here I don't know why the calendar is like my focal point, especially when I, I'm confused. I look up here uh, The 19th Monday the 19th. We are having another uh, Hellmouth movie Monday trick-or-treat Freaking awesome movie if you guys don't have this you really need to get it I mean it not only does it say that it's the quintessential Halloween film it is it is, and I think uh, Zach and Jeremy, the Bloodshed Brothers, that I actually, I think I won this, or this is a birthday gift, I think, that they sent to me uh, several several years ago, and and oh my gosh, I've loved this ever since. So thanks, guys, I appreciate it. And okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Happy haunting again. Get out of here. Go do something else. Have a good night or afternoon or day or whenever. Thanks for coming to Halloween Hellbound. Y'all come back now. You hear?